Right, well, here we have the Forearm Compass Mi Wi-Fi action camera. A bit different to most of the other action cameras I've tested lately. Right, before looking at the camera, let's have a look at what comes in the box. You've got a USB Micro-B charging cable. You've got the instructions, which in my case were in Chinese. But the manufacturers emailed me an English copy. You've got the app guide. And I guess this is a guarantee card. You've also got this little clip here, which is designed to hold the camera, which incidentally you use this way up, i.e. lens at the top, operating button at the bottom. Clips in here, like so. So you can clip that on your belt, or you can hang it round your neck with this lanyard they supply, like so. Let's take a closer look at this camera. As is pretty obvious looking at it, there aren't many controls on it. You've got the lens at the front which has a 78 degree field of view. You've got the on off button which is also the mode button. On this end you've got the Wi-Fi button together with a little LED. On the bottom here you've got the micro USB and a slot for the and a slot for the micro SD card. We'll take up to 32 gig and they suggest class 6 or above. And just there you've got the reset button. Now the litho button's built in, they suggest two hours charging and I think about two hours video recording. The operation of this camera is a bit different to most as well. You turn on, press and hold for two seconds and you have a red light which turns to a green light. Now the colour of the light is important. Green light means that it's in video mode. Press again and we have a yellow which is in which means it's in photo mode. Press again and it's purple which means it's in time-lapse mode. Press again, green, we're in video mode. Now there's no shutter button on this as you can see so what you have to do to actually begin recording is tap the front and now you can see the green lights flashing which means it's recording tap the front again and nothing's happening I don't know why the green lights off but it means it's off now the green lights still flashing tap the button again and the green lights off. Likewise when it's in photo mode you have to tap for it to take a photograph. Now one thing I found difficult with this was there's no light on the back to tell you that it's at, you've actually achieved anything so if you're in video mode and you tap You've got to look at the front to see if it's working. So pretty much every test video I took started off with my face looking at the camera. Now why on earth they didn't put a little LED on the back, I have no idea. Or why they didn't just put a shutter operating button on it, I don't know. Oh, I should have mentioned, um, I've got this optional accessory here. Well this accessory they call the compass skin camera slips inside it's got a magnet in the back which potentially means you can start it recording you can start it recording and put it on a ferrous object anywhere you like and use that as a tripod if you want they also supply a magnetic adhesive back which will stick onto that so that you can stick it on something now as you can see there's an app that this camera will work with Forearm Connect. It's an all singing, all dancing app, but one thing it will allow you to do is change the settings in the camera. With this app, you can start the recording externally. You can also, if you log on to the Forearm Connect website, upload to a cloud, you can do live broadcasting, all kinds of amazing things. You can share with social media directly from the camera to the app or directly to the web via Wi-Fi. So it's all singing, all dancing. Right, let's see how the Wi-Fi connects on this. 
Well, I mentioned the um, app. I've already installed it. Forearm compass, just there. Turn on my Wi-Fi. Turn on the camera. Press the Wi-Fi button and you'll see the little red LED starts flashing. Better put that down. And any second you should see popping up here compass. I've got to refresh it in fact. Compass saved connect. As I mentioned, the password is one two three four five six seven eight nine zero. If I press the forearm connect, you can see I'm now connected to the camera. And I could start and stop video recording change it to stills mode it's telling me that I'm in 1080 30 frames a second uh, state of the battery charge in the camera and so on if I press this I can go into camera settings and I can change video resolution stills resolution time-lapse time-lapse has a huge range of settings from 60 minute laps right down to two seconds which is I think the biggest range I've ever seen key sensitivity high low LED on or off um, and video resolution 720 at 30 720 at 50 720 at 60 1080 at 25 or 1080 at 30 so uh, that's a pretty useful bit of kit um, I haven't explored everything in this app because it will let you do a huge range of stuff. Yeah, if you can log on to the Forearm website, you can upload to a cloud, you can transfer files, you can even live broadcast, but I haven't explored that part of this. Let's get on and make some test video. field of view of 78 degrees and you hold the camera very steady
old. That way with the wind behind me. Right, well this is a bit of walking along with this camera but it clicked on my jacket which is the whole idea of the clip. Right then, the forearm compass mini Wi-Fi action camera. Small, light, easy to carry around with you. Handy little clip on the back here so that you can clip it on your jacket. I must say, impressive quality video at 1080. Nice colours, very sharp. Uh, the Wi-Fi app is very good, so you can start it remotely. But the downside is you need to have a smartphone if you want to change the settings. Uh, the downsides of it though, I'm not very keen on this tapping to operate. If you didn't quite get the tap right, it didn't start. And so nearly all of my videos had me staring at the camera to see if the green light was flashing. And there were a fair few times when I had to do a retake as it wasn't actually working. And likewise, when you turn it off, you've got to look at the front to see if the lights stopped flashing. Not the easiest camera to operate. At the angle of view as well, um, they describe it as an action camera doesn't actually come with a waterproof case or any accessories and the field of view of 78 is a lot narrower than most action cameras that I know uh, but all the same I think um, it's a good little video camera if you want to make some general video and if you don't mind every video you take starting and finishing with your ugly face looking at it but then again you might have a nice face so there it is. Thanks for watching.